Hi, I'm David Kaner for expertvillage.com. Next break, and they can be fixed by a trained woodworker or, or luthier. The button here is essentially part of the back, and the heel of the neck glues to the button. This is, it, although a very small piece, it's actually structurally very important for holding the neck in position against the tension of the strings. And so if a violin is dropped and the button breaks away from the back, a very expensive repair is required to glue the button to the back and then reinforce it with laminated wood inside and then the entire assembly glued back to the neck. Um, cracks to the back are quite difficult to repair. Um, a trained luthier does them, but they take a lot of time. Um, the neck joint, due to either trauma or really serious temperature and humidity changes, the neck joint can also fail. The glue in the neck joint can fail. And I have seen violins where, which literally imploded where the neck joint failed and the neck was pulled essentially toward the base of the instrument, toward the tail by the string tension and the top was damaged in the process. Um, a lot of these instruments are hundreds of years old and in original condition, which is a testament to how amazingly sturdy they are considering how little they weigh and how thin some of the components are. And yet, um, some really major repairs do get done and when they're really done well by trained violin repair people, they take a lot of time, they take a lot of training and skill, and so they, they aren't cheap, for better or for worse. But, but a, a really badly damaged violin can be made into a good sounding instrument. <coughs> At least I hope it sounded good.